Anthony Davis is unfortunately injured once again, this time leaving game four with a left groin strain. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter and this is your number one source for learning about the unique medical side of the world of sports. Let's dive right into looking at what happened here. You guys know what to do with that like button if you enjoy these videos. So as AD went up for this layup here, at first I really couldn't see much when he was down on the ground. He makes a little bit of contact with Aiton, but nothing that looked overly traumatic or severe. And we all know that Anthony Davis is kind of known to go down in these games and initially seem like he's really severely hurt, but then get up and be just fine. We saw, of course, right away, though, that he was grabbing at that inner portion of his left thigh, right where those adductor or groin muscles live. But now then, from this back view, we can actually get a better sense of how this happened. So as AD comes down here, you can see his left leg makes contact and basically catches on DeAndre Ayton's left leg as he's falling to the ground. What this is going to do is, number one, you can see it externally rotates his foot, so it points his toes a little bit outward. But number two, it induces this stretch in his left thigh, in those left adductor muscles, kind of analogous to doing the splits. So if we draw a midline down here through AD, anything where that leg is going out away from his body is gonna be abduction with AB, and then anything where his leg comes back towards midline is going to be adduction, AD. So in this position, Anthony Davis's left leg is in a forced abduction externally rotated position, which particularly stresses those adductor or groin muscles. Looking at our biodigital anatomy tool here, I've highlighted the different adductor or groin muscles. When you hear about an athlete who has a groin strain, it's not actually up in the groin typically. Sometimes it can be where these tendons are located, but we're talking about the adductor or inner thigh muscles. The adductor longus is specifically the one that we most often see injured when somebody has one of these groin strains. And these muscles have multiple actions. Of course, the most prominent is going to be adduction, where they bring the thigh back in towards midline. But then they're also gonna have a little bit of a role in hip flexion, where the knee is brought up to the chest, and then also in internal rotation, where the leg swings in. Inward. So to stress these muscles, you do the exact opposite. You pull the leg out into abduction, you externally rotate the leg, and you put it back in extension. So as Davis is coming down here, external rotation, stress number one, and then forced abduction, stress number two, with that leg being pulled outward. We can grade these injuries from first degree to third degree or mild to severe, with of course first degree being the least severe. With a first degree, there's pain, but there's no real loss in function or strength of the muscle. With a grade two, now you have pain plus you've lost some strength in the muscle, and then in grade three, you've got complete tearing, complete disruption of the muscle, with significant loss of function. And when we look at recovery time, these unfortunately are not super quick turnarounds. Jeff Stotts at In Street Clothes on Twitter is a great follow for all this information, stating earlier in the month of May that the average time missed this season was just around two weeks. Of course, that can vary depending on the ultimate severity, but when we look at other sports, it's a similar time frame. Usually around that two to three weeks is kind of best case scenario for the majority of these strains. Yes, it's definitely possible that AD has a very tiny little pull that really it's not that big of a deal and his function is pretty great and maybe it's a little bit sooner, but really I would anticipate him being out for a number of games. The other risk, of course, is if you bring somebody back too soon, they have a higher risk of re-injury, which then can result in ultimately an even longer absence. Now in the playoffs, of course, that's really tough because you want to bring somebody back as soon as possible, especially in such an important series here where AD really truly matters a lot. But unfortunately, the data would suggest that he's going to miss potentially the rest of this first round series. So to sum everything up here, the adductor or groin muscles are the group of muscles that sit on the inside portion of the thigh and primarily help to bring our legs in together. After Anthony Davis went up for this layup, his left foot catches right there on DeAndre Ayton's, causing his left leg to go in this extended abducted position where those adductor muscles are being excessively stretched, ultimately leading to a tear or a strain of those muscles. Looking at data from this NBA season, we'd expect an average of around two weeks of missed time with, of course, additional considerations depending on how severe the actual injury is. That's it for the video, everybody. Let me know, as always, any questions or comments down below. If you learned something, be sure and hit that like button. And if you wanna stay up to date with these future videos, then give it a subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.